Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be a home update, of course. Like, if you're new here, we do home updates all the time. That's pretty much what my channel has turned into because there's just so much to do. Every time we think we're like, I'm on this bouncy ball. Every time we think we're like almost done, there's more stuff to get done. So basically in today's video, we're gonna be updating the house. I'm gonna show you some new pieces in. We got a lot of new pieces in, which I'm really, really excited about. CB2 is coming. We're gonna be getting some furniture in the mail. We're gonna be doing our window treatments. Just like a lot of fun stuff in today's video. I'm really, really excited about this one. Lots to share, lots to update. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. If you wanna see what we get into, you wanna see how we update the house, switch, change, rearrange, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so we got a lot of stuff in the mail, so I'm gonna start with an unboxing. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. If you can see all those boxes over there, those are actually the curtain rods. So hopefully, fingers crossed, in today's video, we can do our window treatments, which I think would be really, really fun. It is currently Friday. Rob is outside um, working in the backyard. You guys, it has been so hard, which is why I missed Ooh, I missed an upload day because we have been filming two bit two videos at once, which can get tricky. So yeah, bear with me. Why? Why does the box look so attacked? Like, why is it open like that? That's weird. Okay. Um, this is a lot darker than I thought. Okay, I'm not gonna. Oh no, I don't know if I like this. Okay, these are the curtains. You guys, I thought they were gonna be creamy. These are gray. Flax linen. You guys, these are like full on gray. I don't know if I like this. It's a very, very pretty color. Do you guys like these? Okay, so I got them in 108 inches because I kind of wanted them to like puddle a little bit on the floor. You know what, let's go see, let's go see. I'm gonna try to like hold it up. Hold on, field trip. Okay, you guys, it's gonna be kind of difficult to see, but this is the color. I wanted to get it in direct sunlight. This is the color. It's definitely beige, but it's definitely cool toned. And if you've been following for a while, I've been talking about how I really wanna warm up this space. I still think they're beautiful. I'm going to try them out. I think it's gonna look pretty. So they're gonna be here and in the sunroom. I really think this is gonna look nice in the sunroom. I just hope that it looks good in this breakfast nook area. So, oh my God, fingers crossed. But anyway, so these are the curtains. I will have these linked down below. It's really hard to see, but I like the linen fabric because I just think that gives it more of like a casual look in here. So hopefully this looks good. This is kind of what the vibe is gonna be. Fingers crossed this looks nice. I feel like with these velvet chairs bringing in some linen a more natural like earthy kind of fabric will look nice but I mean oh gosh we'll see also side note I told you in the last video that I'm trying to find two more of these frames I called a home goods that's like really far away from us and they said they had it but the way the girl described the frames I was describing these and I was like does it have this is it inset is it black around here she's like yeah I'm like okay the picture in the middle is like two little boys smiling at the camera. And she was like, well, this one has a lady and it's a double mat. So I don't know. <laughs> She's holding them for me and it's like 45 minutes away. So we're gonna go to the home goods 45 minutes away. The lady said she has those frames. I don't know because we couldn't see. So hopefully what I said on the phone translated over to her and she and she got it right. But we gonna see. So we're about to go to home goods and fingers crossed that the frames are the correct frames and I have them and we're good. But let's get back to the unboxing. Okay, I gotta hurry. I just got off the phone with CB2. They're on their way and they're gonna bring stuff into the office. So I have to like clear this out. 
but basically we got curtains. We got a ton of curtains. I think I ordered a total of either 10 or 12. Okay, and next up, I'm pretty sure these are the rings. I'm not gonna go through every single curtain. They're the same exact style. I just got 12 of them. And then we got curtain rings. I got a ton of curtain rings because I really um, like that look of curtains and rings, basically. So, look like that. They're very oversized and thick, which is what I wanted. I'm really hoping, we have to hang these super high up because the curtains are already 108 inches long, plus this is like what, like an extra like two and a half, three inches. So yeah, we just have to make sure that the curtains are hung high. So this is what the curtain clips look like. Okay, so here are the curtain rods. I don't know why I did all of that just to show you a black hole, but here we go. This color is antique bronze. It looks black though. So I wanted matte black, but they didn't have matte black. This is the closest that they had. And I just was impatient and I was like, I don't wanna be searching high and low. So I got these. I got them in varying sizes depending on the window. Okay, and then the ends look like this. Those were the end caps that I just showed you and these are the brackets. I thought these brackets were really, really cool. So these are the brackets. So basically it's gonna stick out from the wall like about that much, which is pretty standard. Like that's like the normal size. Basically gonna stick out like this up against the wall, which I don't know, I thought that was really cool. It's all in the little details. So I like this style. I'm going to actually wrap this up. I'm gonna go tell Rob that they're on their way because I'm not gonna have enough time to do all of the unboxing. We have more stuff. So we'll get to that in a little bit later. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It looks so good. Are you ready to see the new chairs? Let's get a countdown in three, two, one. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, 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 where do we even start? Okay, so obviously the new chairs, they're velvet. They're like this cream. I don't even know how you would describe this color. I just think it looks so good with the desk, with even the computer. I know that sounds weird, but like this just flows to me and I really, really like it. The light fixture, like everything about this is just so pretty to me. I cannot wait until we change the hinges and the doorknobs. I think that's gonna look really good, but this is a vibe. This is such a vibe. I really, really like it. And yeah, I'm really happy with these chairs. I think they look so good. Let me get like a different angle. Like, I think this is just so nice. I had a couple questions like, why are you getting chairs? Why do you need chairs in your office? It's because like when I'm in here working, like sometimes Rob will come in here or my mom and like we'll talk about things and like discuss, you know, things that have to do with my channel and like growing my business. So yeah, like I need extra chairs so that my hubby can sit with me and help me and this really is like the meeting place like whenever we need to like plan something or discuss something for like home updates or like just videos in general or like collabs or whatever it is like we all come in here and talk about it so we need chairs basically we work as a team collectively to run this channel to run everything behind the scenes and we meet in here and we talk in here even though it's like not official it's like an unofficial place where like we all come to talk about like our business this, okay, so I will link these down below of course, but anything that you see in my office in my home Every little inch and nook and granny is linked on my blog The link is always in the description box, but here. Let's just see from this angle. Oh My god, okay, that's next on the list from my angle This is what the chairs are gonna be looking like and oh my gosh I love them so much. They're so pretty especially once we get the dining room straight like this is gonna be awesome Love it. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna continue on with some unboxing. <laughs> we're over here because really this is like the only like open space-ish area. So I'm excited to show you what's in here actually. What was in that box?
box. It is a pin board. It looks like this. Funny enough, it actually matches RG's dresser. Like it's the same type of design. So this pin board, I'm gonna put in the playroom next to the door above our little like um, homeschooling table. This is huge. Like this is really, really big, but I like this. I just have to get like super cute pins now. And I'm planning on like hanging up their artwork, like cute little things that we create or make in the playroom. We can pin it to this pin board. We can pin some pictures, just make it super cute and creative and it's easy to change out. So unlike the artwork that's up there now, we can't just like change that out. And not that I want to, but I'm just saying like, I can just display their art on here. We can get creative depending on the season. Like we can put like all Easter stuff, all like summer things, especially when it comes to like Christmas and stuff like that. This is gonna be super cute. So yeah, this is the pin board in relation to my height. Like this thing is pretty big, but it is going on the wall. So I think it's gonna look really, really nice. I like the fact that it's white, so it'll kind of blend in with the wall, but we can decorate it or we can not we can let it breathe we can just put family pictures up there like it's gonna be so cute like we could write like little notes and have like little letters like that would even be cute if we had like envelopes and like maybe just like an assortment of different things but like if we had like a cute like printed envelope and like we put letters in there and like we take a letter out and read it and like do like a pen pal situation but like not really I feel like that's like the teacher in me coming out but that would be really really cute so I can't wait to get creative with this I'm excited for Rob to hang it up and yeah you guys that's pretty much the unboxing it was a lot of boxes but a lot of the stuff was like same thing but I got like 10 to 12 of them so yeah you guys I need to go get RG and Briella and we can continue on with the vlog okay you guys so last night Rob and I we did a thing we did a thing it was a wild Friday night and I'm so excited to show you Rob not like that but I'm excited to show you what we did because I cannot stop smiling are you guys ready to see our new breakfast nook because I'm just I'm floored right now at how good this looks I okay I'm not gonna make you wait any longer <laughs> Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you. Okay, ready? Feast your eyes on the new and improved breakfast nook. <gasps> you guys. Like, okay, okay. First of all, this is a whole mood because the curtains, it's very cozy. It's raining. The candle is lit. It's just a whole vibe over here. And I absolutely love it. So obviously it goes without saying that we are missing two of the fruits. I am searching high and low at any home goods that's near me to find these frames. Fingers crossed within the next couple of weeks I will find them and then our frames will be done and the wall will look way more complete. But right now this is what it's serving. It's serving very cozy, just very styled. I absolutely love it. I told you all in the last video that we were gonna go and get window treatments and that's exactly what we did so you can kind of see it here I'm trying to catch the light as best as I can this needs to be steamed I was just way too excited and I wanted to show you but um, this is just like a linen blend I will have the exact ones listed down below but basically we have them on these black rings black curtain rod and I'm really really happy with how it looks they're 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 a little bit long probably about three inches too long but it's okay the next size down these are 108 the next size down was 96 and I feel like that was gonna be too short it wasn't gonna puddle like how I wanted it to puddle so yeah we just have two curtains on this side one on this side one on this side and I think it looks really really good I am really happy with this Rob did such a good job he's working in the sunroom we're adding them in the sunroom as well this is what the breakfast nook is looking like so I went to home goods last night actually and got this tray I feel like this tray my nails you guys this is a whole hot mess I need to get that's crazy I need to get them done like ASAP but anyway and I'm missing one on this finger you guys I'm a mess so I felt like this silver here went really nicely with the legs on the table I don't know something about it just kind of blended it's a small little detail and I really liked the vases the eucalyptus gonna be completely honest this kind of smells weird like I don't I don't know if I like it it doesn't smell like eucalyptus and I didn't notice it in the store but like once it's here in the space um, it's kind of it's like that potpourri pot potpourri scent so if you like potpourri you would like this but I don't know it's a little bit strong so I'm trying to like kill the scent with this candle but yeah anyway really really like this nice and cozy it's rainy 
it's noisy. <laughs> the kids are having quiet time and it just, it's so like moody, but in a bright, fresh, clean, crisp way. And I just love this little corner so much. Be prepared to see tons of pictures of this corner on Instagram because I'm literally upset. Once I get my two frames, you can't tell me nothing. Like I'm about to be in here nonstop. I love it so much. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to bring you into a room. It's so much of an echo. This room, I don't really show that much on the channel. We haven't really updated it too much for a while, but as of right now, it's pretty, pretty much done, even though there's a lot of echo. But I wanted to show you what we have put together in our workout room. This is what our workout room is looking like so far. I'm really, really happy with it. If you remember from the last videos, it was pretty bare and there's still an echo just because there's nothing on the floor, but hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. Over here, we just have our mirrors. We had this, I have my Peloton, you know this, but the new things are pretty much everything else. So this wall art Rob and I had in our Brooklyn apartment and so it's just really sentimental. We got it from Ikea. I don't even know if they still make it anymore. But you know how Ikea has like these over oversized canvas art pieces. <laughs> that was one of them. I'm sure you can find something similar. It's just a picture of Paris. I feel like it suits the space because at first it was just a plain white wall. And as much as I want this to be solely just the workout room and have like fitness stuff and it just be a fitness room, I know that like in the future when we get like guests, and company, like it, it'll be easy to change this room into a guest room just by moving out my bike and putting in like probably like a blow up mattress or something like that. Because I mean, you all know, like we don't really get that many guests, especially now with everything going on, like no one's coming. So I just wanted to turn it into a workout room. I figured, you know what? 360 out of 365 days a year, it's gonna be a workout room. So that's why I wanted to really dedicate it to that. So yeah, over here, in this corner, I just have my workout rack, my, or no, my weight rack. I don't even know what it's called. It's a weight rack. I just have weights on here. I've been getting into more like strength training, which has been really, really fun. I'm not claiming to be like this fitness expert guru, but I just do what I like and what feels good for my body. So, and then I have this yoga mat rack, but I also have like booty bands, resistance bands, ankle weights, things like that on this rack here. Just miscellaneous things and yeah it's looking like this so on this side when you come around here I actually got a weight what is it even called you guys a bench I got like this workout bench that's gonna go right underneath this picture here and then when I want to work out when Rob and I want to work out or just Rob whoever we can roll out our yoga mat do what we gotta do in this open space here we have a fan probably push that closer to the I'll probably end up pushing that closer to the corner over there but anyway on this wall I purchased a like a shelving kind of like a bookshelf but like shorter just like a shelf basically like a shelving unit that's gonna go here and then we're gonna put a TV on top of it so I got a TV and the shelving unit from Target and then these are the things that are gonna go in the shelf so remember the lamp I showed you in my previous video I figured it would be really really good in here because it's so small and this is a smaller space so I'm gonna put a lamp right there because when I work out in the mornings it's pretty dark so I prefer to have a little lamp instead of this huge I guess it's not huge but it's so bright in the morning like this bright light so for me it's just a little bit more calming there's more of an ambiance if it's just a little lamp right there I also plan on switching this out I want to get a fan like a black fan. I think would look really really nice so we're gonna switch that out for sure and then I have my salt rock lamp another lamp I guess we're gonna have two lamps on here. I've got my little waist trainer, my Peloton shoes, so I'll probably end up putting baskets and keeping things in. But that's kind of the plan for the workout room. I haven't showed this in quite some time. I don't, 
I don't think I've done an update on this in a very long time. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm really, really pleased. I like the tree. It just really makes me wanna come in here and work out and just like zone out and yeah, get fit. We're also gonna have shades on that window too. So I think it'll really complete this space. But so far, this is what the workout room is looking like and I'm really, really happy about it. Okay you guys, so the dining room looks crazy. It doesn't even look like a dining room right now. It looks like just a junk room. But I wanted to show you um, the cabinets. I actually wanted to show you one thing that's in the cabinet that is new. I'm constantly rearranging these and switching things out. I also got some new coffee table books, but that's not really like the special part. I mean, it's new. Don't get me wrong, it's special because I like it. But this serving uh, plate, I guess plate, I don't even know what you would call this dish. This serving dish right here is really sentimental. It's been in my family. I feel like, you know what's crazy? When, and maybe you can relate to this, when you're growing up, maybe your mom or your grandma or like someone in your family tells you like, hey, when you're older, when you get married, when you have a house, when you have kids, like this will be in your house or this will be passed down to you. I know you probably have things in your family that have been passed down to you or maybe there are family members saying that like, hey, when I pass, like this is gonna go to you, like certain things like that. That's what this serving dish is for me. I'm so glad it's tonal, I can't even. <laughs> that was like, okay, obviously the first thing was, oh my gosh, just so sentimental. This belonged to my great, great grandmother. And yeah, it was just a serving dish. She had it in her house and now it's in mine. You all know I'm super sentimental. So this is everything to me. I'm so proud of this. I'm so happy to have this in my house. And it's just crazy that like now things that were my grandmothers, my great grandmothers, and things that my mom would have um, in her house growing up. Now she's passing it on to me, which is just like so exciting. And I just, I don't know, I feel really proud and like honored to have this. So I just really wanted to show you this. Let me get a close up because I don't know if you can tell, it kind of has like these floral designs. This is just really, really nice. Um, I just want to keep it in this cabinet. I'm really hoping, I mean, I think we should be okay as far as like the sunlight hitting it. I don't think it'll turn. Either way, like I'm just really happy about this. I think it's beautiful. I think it looks nice. Technically, I guess it's a little bit too big. Maybe I might put it up at the very top, but as of right now, this is where it is. This is what the cabinets are looking like. You guys, I know the cabinets are not everybody's cup of tea, but you guys, it's ours. I really wanted it to just kind of be, ah, oh my God, I thought I broke another nail. You guys, this is getting handled today. I just ooh, really want it to be just like things that we like and kind of like a little collection. I don't know. I don't, I, I think it looks cute. I, it makes me happy. It makes Rob happy. So I guess, the, I mean, that's the most important thing, right? It's our house. Better make us happy. So yeah, this is just kind of what this cabinet is looking like. I feel like you all should know me by now, but nothing is set in stone until you see those words furnished house tour on a video. So this is just what it's looking like today. And I'm really, really happy with it, especially that. That's like my favorite part of the cabinet. Everything else can go except that. I'm just so happy with it. Okay guys, and I also wanted to update you all on the curtains. I can't remember if I showed you like the final reveal or not. This is what they're looking like. They're not like evenly spaced because again, we live here and we were opening and closing them and it's totally fine. The chairs are a mess. Again, we live here. It is what it is. But then if you come into the sunroom, the sunroom is currently a mess. I'm not gonna go too far in here because you know how the lighting is. It gets kind of weird. But from this point of view, ignore all the junk. Just focus on the curtains. We're still waiting on these curtains to come in the Mail. I miscounted, had to order more, and then those curtains on that side. I wanna do a whole transformation in here because I'm not satisfied. If I'm being completely, oh, we're about to lose the light. If I'm being completely, completely honest, I'm not in love with the couch right there. I'm not in love with that chair, definitely not the easel. Like, I'm not really stuck on anything in here. So I wanna redo it, get a new light fixture. I feel like the only thing I like are the curtains. And obviously, I like, well, I was gonna say I like the fireplace, but now that kind of, that doesn't even look good because we use this space so much. It's like I want it to be pretty and I want it to look good and be like aesthetic, but this room gets beat up. Like we're constantly doing, as I just installed these like beautiful curtains, <laughs> but we're constantly doing just like, I would say crafts. Like, you know, I do like my DIYs in here. Like if we need to like work or do something, we always come in here. Like if we need to bring stuff in from outside, this is kind of like the middle area, the transition area between outdoors and then the nice fancy living room. So I wanna make this really pretty, but I just have to be realistic. Like we're gonna be running in here with our shoes. Like 
it's gonna get like, I don't know, this floor is not gonna stay A1 clean because it's right next to the door. We've got outside toys, you know, so I just need ideas, I need to brainstorm. But this is what it's looking like right now. Hopefully I can find something that kind of meets in the middle of like, it's really pretty but it's still functional. That is the goal. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's home update video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Moving forward, I'm definitely gonna be incorporating different aspects of home. I want to start doing more styling videos, more like home specific type videos, not just my home update. But I've just been having so much fun decorating my home and really having it come to life that I still wanna create home content. I've just really been enjoying the like styling process. I try to think of like, okay, what could I film that's home related, that's not a home update, that's kind of where my mind is right now. And I know I get comments sometimes about, I'm gonna be so sad when you stop doing the home updates. Home updates are not going anywhere, you guys. I just wanna incorporate like different things as well, but the home updates are not going anywhere. Trust me, get comfortable. They're not going anywhere. Just because I'm done my home doesn't mean a home update is gonna be done, okay? I don't know if that makes sense, but you guys know. I have a business mind, okay? I'm not gonna be doing all things things home all the time without a plan. So I'll just say that. But yeah, so let me know like what other home content videos you want to see. If you wanna see kind of like some shop with me, how I would style this room, my favorite home purchases. Maybe you want to know a little bit more about like our home buying process. Maybe you have questions on that. And yeah, so anyway, all that being said, I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. The next video is gonna be lit. I'm so, so excited. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we, me and my curtains, because I just, okay, this is the view right here. This is where I should have been talking this whole time. These curtains, oh my gosh, I cannot. I just wanna look at them all day. So me and my curtains, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.